Hey, what's up, Falcons fans? I am DJ Shockley. I want to thank you guys for joining me again here for Falcons Film Review, powered by Microsoft Surface. A couple good plays from the Tampa game. Let's get into the Grunk touchdown and what happened on that particular play and how they were able to execute it on that particular play here. What Tampa wants to run here is this corner route here by Grunk the tight end, but they also are going to send the back out here in the flat. Now, the Falcons are going to play cover two, so that means this safety looks like he wants to play single high right now. Look at all the things they got going on up here at the line of scrimmage. They're trying to disguise what's going on, but on the snap of the ball, what's going to happen is he's going to go to cover two, he's going to go back and have a half of the field, and you're going to have A.J. Terrell here play a half of the field. And the route combination versus cover two that they have on is called a smash concept. Corner and a flat. And the object of this is to control this corner. If he stays in the middle, you have an opportunity to throw this corner route. If not, then you can check it down to the flat route. On the top side, they run a little dig on this side, a little hook, and then a shallow cross coming across here. But the side Brady wants to work is this corner flat combination on the corner route. Now, as the play gets started, you see the bunch set. They got him in his tight formation down here. And here's the cover two. Falcons bail out of it. It's more like two tamper with this guy coming in the middle of the field. So you have the middle covered. And now you have a half of the field and a half of the field. And here is the dilemma in this particular concept. Here's the corner route that's coming out across here. And now you got the back and the flat. Now it puts a bind on AJ Terrell on where should he go? Should he take away this flat route or should he drop further and try to get underneath this corner route? The Falcons actually play it pretty well. It's just a really good concept against this particular coverage. And you see AJ Terrell is kind of caught in the middle. There's really not much he can do about it. Take this away, they're gonna have that. This safety has to stay over the top in this cover two. And Brady throws it right in the middle of both guys. So a well-designed play for them. Falcons played it pretty well. Just caught the Falcons in a bad coverage on that particular play. And they was able to capitalize with a touchdown. All right, let's talk about a good play down in the red zone. The Falcons were really good in the red zone. I thought they executed pretty well. And that was one of the things coming to this season is, how good can you be in the red zone in your red zone execution? This is a well-designed play up here by the Falcons. Now, this route concept that we're watching up top is what we're looking at. Now, this is what I call a man or zone beater. So what you're gonna get here, you're gonna get Calvin really on a little shallow cross here, and then you're also gonna get OZ on what we call a little inline back here. Now, this is good versus man or zone, simply because if they play zone, this is the guy that has to cover this in breaking route because he bails here, but he's already has outside leverage on the outside, so now OZ has leverage on him. If they play man, it's a good job of Calvin coming across his face. It's hard for this particular player to cover Calvin really on a little shallow cross. Now let's talk about some of the things that happens pre-snap here. You get the motion here, motion right there by Gage. That tells you exactly what you got. You got man coverage. But now you look at also everything else that's in this box here. They're playing cover zero. Cover zero means they're blitzing everybody. They have more people than we can block. So they're gonna end up bringing eight guys and we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to block. So that means we have one guy who's gonna come free. Matt knows this because of the motion and then look at the alignment. Everybody's at the line of scrimmage. These guys are in man coverage, you know what you're gonna get. So watch the route combination at the top up here and watch what happens here. You see Matt's checking, he's talking, communicating with the guys up front, knowing the all-out blitz is coming. And now here comes the all-out blitz. You see now they're bringing everybody here. The best thing to do here is to let the wide guy go first, but we end up letting the inside guy go. But because Matt knows his cover zero, he has to get rid of the football. He kind of gives a little bit and he gets the outside release out here by Calvin, comes underneath and he does a good job of beating the guy across his face. Now he tries to pick him up late, but because Calvin does a good job of coming across his face now, look at this, boom, ball is already out. Here's the ball, the ball is already out of his hands and Calvin has him beat across his face and just a well drawn up play. Let's go back for a little half a second. Now when they tried to pass it off, here's what I was talking about with this guy playing outside leverage. Now you got OZ's coming across as well, he beats him across the inside and now he has another touchdown that we wanted to OZ. So a well drawn up play on the backside. You even got Gage down at the bottom running a slant right at the bottom so you can win here. There's so many options to win on this particular play. Look at Gage, he can win. He has all this room to throw and catch and it ends up being a really successful play. Ends up a really good red zone play. I love the execution, love the play call. These are some of the things you should expect to see from the Falcons this year, especially in the red zone, man or zone beaters, that's gonna get you touchdowns. We thank you for joining me. This has been Falcons Film Review, powered by Microsoft Surface. We'll see you next week.